What's up everyone, I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm talking about the Kirkland Bottled in Bond by Barton 1792, Master Distillers. Now this is part three of a series that I'm doing. I just covered the Crown Royal wannabe right there. And of course the Tennessee whiskey that's trying to be Jack Daniels. Now let's talk a little bit about this bottle and bond. First of all, Barton 1792 is owned by Buffalo Trace, but 1792 is also a full lineup of bourbon. They make several bourbons. So I'll put a link below. You can go and check that out. And they're always really good for the money. So how good is this whiskey? Well, first of all, let's talk about the packaging. The packaging on this one, I think is the best out of all of them. First of all, you get this old timer bottled in bond. What does that mean? Well, it means it has to be a minimum of 51% corn. It has to go into a new charred barreled oak cask for a minimum of four years. And it has to be proofed at a hundred or 50 ABV. Now, like I said, packaging is pretty good on this. I'm kind of impressed. Anyway, let's jump into this whiskey. But before that, do you want to taste like a pro? Head over to tastingskills.com, put your name and email into the magical yellow box, and I will send you my free 17 page guide to the fundamentals of tasting. But not only that, if you want to get a nice sober hat, this one is gray with black lettering. I also have black on black. I have some nice little t-shirts and some nice hoodies with the sober logo on it. When you're at tastingskills.com and you have that in your cart, if you put the promo code IMOBG, shipping will be free. All right, now let's jump into this Bottled and Bond by Kirkland. On the color, we get this beautiful deep amber. On the nose, high charred oak aromas with some caramel, honey, orange peels, tangerines, oak, cedar. Now this has high alcohol as it should, and it really has a classic bottle and bond nose. On the mouthfeel, the attack is well balanced as the layers fight for equal attention since this is rich in spicy oak layers that have been well charred and this has a serious balance. The acidity delivers long complex dried fruit and it turns into these sweet layers of caramel, vanilla, tobacco, and the finish is really solid on here as it keeps on delivering these beautiful wood tannins. So what do I actually think about this bottle and bond by Kirkland? Well, I'm kind of baffled. For $25 for a liter, this is an absolute steal. This was so good. And this is really giving a fight to the rest of the brands out there. Even the Evan Williams bottle and bond that retails for under $20. Yes, it's a 750, but this is a liter. Now, the finish on here was just insane. The complexity, the layers, the never ending classic nose of a bottle and bond whiskey was all of what you expect into this. I'm really impressed by this. Yes, this is a great distillery. Bartown 1792 make really good whiskeys. I am just in love with this one. Is this a buy? It's an absolute buy. This is gonna, convert a lot of consumers that are whiskey geeks, as we call them, into this. This it is an absolute recommendation. All right, that's gonna do it for me. I'm OBG for tastingskills.com. Please remember to smash that like button and now go down there, click the bell right after you subscribe. Otherwise, my friend, please remember, stay sober, peace.